The new button slicer that came out in the November release of Power BI is pretty cool. And let me show you how you can use it to make an on off toggle. This is pretty cool. You used to have to use bookmarks for this, but I can now use it either with images or with a little hack that I'll show you at the end, how you can just do it with text. This one is harder than you'd think, but this one is pretty straightforward. I'll show you how. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to build this one um, to start with. And at the end, I'll show you the little trick, the hack for building this just purely text-based one. It's actually harder. Um, so what I start with is the new slicer, okay? So you need the November release. This is the new slicer icon. I'm just gonna bring that over here. And essentially what I've got is a little table I created. Let me show you the table. It's just a simple little table called TBL switch. And that's all that's in it. I just used get, uh, enter data on the home tab, enter data, and I type that in. Okay, just that blank, I'll, I'll explain why that's there later. But you just really need a table with anything in it. Okay, so that's your starting point. You just need a little table. So that little table value, I'm gonna put that switch into the field. Okay, and the default is the three by three grid. So I'm gonna change the layout to one by one. Okay, so it's just a nice little button. Okay, perfect. And the actual call out, you know, you can turn that off. You don't actually need the text on there. And the title, you can turn that off too. You don't need that on there. All right, so there's, there's your button. Now the really nice thing about the, this new button is that you've got the ability to have the selected state flagged as well. So down here, you can actually scroll down, okay, to the buttons section, and you can have the default state, the on hover, the press, the selected. This is the thing, okay? And I'm gonna go for the default fill and browse for an image. Okay, so here I go, I'm browsing for an image. And, you know, how do you get your images? What do you do? Well, I use ChatGPT. Um, actually, for this, this is the default, so that's gonna be the off, all right? So I'm browsing for the off. Um, there we go. And I'm gonna go for the fit, okay? And then I can make this a lot smaller, you know, to the right size sort of thing. Get the idea. Okay, so that's the default. And then I'm adding, changing this here to the, uh, sorry, changing the state to selected. And that one is gonna be the on. So I'm browsing for the on image. There we go, and again, fit. And I just wanna be a bit fancy, so I've also got, for the uh, hover, I've got like a halfway through, like an on hover image or a midway image. So there we go. Cool, all right, so that is, oh, I've gotta change that one, that midway to fit as well. So there we go, that's the hover and then press. Okay, so that's the image sorted. Um, in ChatGPT, by the way, I just said, create three identically themed buttons for a web page toggle. Didn't even spell middle right. It gave me four, a bit weird, but then I just sort of screen grab these so you can even ask it to, um, you know, export each one as a JPEG, which I had mixed results doing. Um, so there's my button, right? So that's awesome, which is pretty cool. So how do I get it to do something? Well, I've got a little helper measure, okay? So all my helper measure is, it says button selected, sort of if is filtered table switch, that's the name of my little table that I created, that one row table. So if it's filtered, then put the word on, otherwise put the word off, okay? And then for my budget, this thing that's showing, see this line that's showing, okay? That line has got this formula. If the button selected measure is on, then budget sales, otherwise blank, okay? Pretty cool, all right. And I've just got the budget line in that chart there. That's the budget sales, which is this budget sales on off measure. So pretty cool. I like it. No more crazy um, bookmarks and things, which is awesome. So let's take a look at this one. Um, I was hoping to do it with just one button, but I can't work out how to do it, how to get the word to toggle just on a one button. I've tried a couple of things. So it's actually two images. It's a button on top of a card visual. 
um, let me know in the, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if it can be done with just the one button. Um, so what have I done? Okay, so I've added a card visual. Okay, here's the card. I put that little sort of measure on there, whether the button is selected. And I turned off the category label and I made that font a bit smaller and stuff, but you know, you know how that works. Um, so that's the sort of toggle. Well, that's the, the word. And then I put a see-through um, slicer button. So here we go. If we go to the new slicer, there we go, just put it on top, and I add my, I can add my switch, okay, into that. I don't want that there. I'm going to go back here, uh, layout one by one, okay, turn off the actual callout value, don't want the word, turn off the title, don't want that. So there's my button. But then I want to make the button see-through, so I go to Buttons, Fill Off, okay, and then General, make sure the effects and the background's off. So now it's a see-through button, okay, and when I click on it, off and on. And then all I've done is group those two together using the selection panel. So if you've not come across that before, uh, under the View tab, you can toggle this selection panel on down the side. Control click on both of those when you got them nicely lined up. Right click, group, group, and then give it a sensible name like on off group or something. And then they're sort of locked together when they, when you move them and you can edit them independently here. So this is the actual, I would rename it, um, see through button, or see through slicer. Uh, and then you can add some conditional formatting. So within this see through slicer, I can go here and I can say, right, the button so on you know default I want it to be a bit of a, let's go rather than totally transparent let, let's turn it on and say it's pretty transparent with a gray okay and then when it's selected so on selection let's make it um, the fill some nice green color and again once I click on it all good. All right. Hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.